Hello. So, OSL Season 2 Week 6. I don't know why I said that so slowly. Anyways, I'm Jay, a uh, coach of the Toronto Flackies, if you didn't know. And last week, Week 5, we beat Shame, I think, 4 or 5-0. So, we're now 3-2, and two, which is, you know, not where I want to be after 5 weeks. But, you know, we faced two teams that are both undefeated at this point. So, I can't complain. This week, we're facing Katsu and the Eastern Sea Pancakes. So, right now, I'm recording this Thursday evening. So, I'm actually kind of ahead of schedule just because I don't want to do schoolwork. But, we're playing... I asked her, I talked to her, and we're playing Sunday, maybe afternoonish, my time. And this team might change during that time, but I think I'm set on the team that I've created. Just because a few hours ago, I'll explain it more in the team builder, but a few hours ago, I kind of had second thoughts, and I try to put on a different mod, but I realized, mm, maybe not this week, I'll try something different. Anyways, uh, Katsu's team. Her team is uh, Dragapult, Mamoswine, Suicune, Sylveon, Heracross, Raichu, Sinchino, Golbat, Machoke, Matang, and Mantike. So, Dragapult. Very scary mon. Uh, almost meta-defining, I want to say, in a sense. Just because Ghost Dragon typing is very good. It can run Physical, it can run Dragon Dance, it can run Special with Will-O-Wisp and Hex. It has U-Turn, you know. It has so much going for it. So, just a very scary mon I have to face. However, I am more terrified of Mamoswine, just because that thing is a behemoth, and ground ice typing is very good against my team, especially because I don't have an ice type resist, really, except Frostlass, and that's not really a resist. So, yeah, very scared of Mamoswine. I do have some techs for it, and I do have, you know, like my defensive pivots for it, but it's still a very scary mon. And then next up, Suicune. Suicune, very good mon. Uh, very bulky, usually runs, you know, it's Crocoon sets, it's Vincoon sets, you know, Rest Talk or Subcom Mind. However, I do not know, I do, I actually am leaning towards that Suicune doesn't come this week. Reasons? I have Ferrothorn, that's one. Quagsire has Water Absorb, that's another reason. So even if it tries to Calm Mind up, like if it goes for like one of those, like, I guess classic sets... Quag is a very good counter, just because I can uh, unaware Calm Minds, or I can just run Water Absorb and just block Scalds uh, altogether. Also, Heliolisk has a water, has a Dry Skin, so I can't I, I don't take damage from Water Type Attack. So there's a lot of ways that Sweeping kind of doesn't work this week. So I'm wondering, maybe not this week that Sweeping, maybe not this match that Sweeping comes. Maybe Katsu doesn't bring it. Next up, Sylveon. Sylveon is a very good mod, but I think it's also very good in this week. Just because I have Latias, I have Altaria, and I have Pangoro. So, Fairy-type stabs are very good. So, I said so twice there, but... Just good mon. Heracross. I think the coolest thing about Heracross this generation is that it gets spikes. Yet, it probably doesn't have the move slot for it. Just because it usually runs, you know, like, it stabs. And then, like, Poison Jab, or, like, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Sword Stands. So, who... I think Spikes is really cool, just it can't run it, unfortunately. And I think if Katsu were to bring her across, it'd be, you know, just like Guts, Flame Orb, or like Scarf. Raichu. Anytime someone brings up Raichu, the only thing I think about is Wolfie Glick's 2016 winning VGC team. Just because he brought Raichu with like Assault Vest, Fake Out, Endeavor, like Volt Switch. It was a very interesting Raichu set. And I'm like, that's just amazing, but it'll never work out in singles. So, yeah, Raiju would usually run something like Nasty Plot or like Specs, you know. It's very fast, it has Fake Out, which is kind of uh, funny, with also Extreme Speed. And I think something that's also really interesting is that I think its attack and special attack are the same. Even though it may feel like it should be, like, special attacks higher, like, they're the same. So, yeah. Uh, will will Katsu run physical Raiju? Probably not, but we never know. Sinchino. Sinchino is a very one-dimensional mon, I think, just because you'll run always skill link five hitting moves. I guess it gets triple axolus uh, generation, and that kind of helps with the spare. Uh, it helps against Ferrothorn, but it doesn't help against something like Clink Clang. So yeah, who knows if it will come? I think it might, but it's probably on the lower end of uh, probability. Golbat though, I believe is coming, and Golbat's a very good pickup by Katsu, because uh, for those who don't know, Katsu is actually used all five of her uh, free agent transactions already just to, I guess, revamp her team. Like, she picked up Mamoswine, she picked up Sylveon, she picked up Raichu, she picked up Golbat, and she picked up Matang. 
Golbat's a very good pickup for 60 points because with a Violite, it has a lot of bulk poison type, poison flying typing, even though it's uh, weak to a lot of types like Psychic, Rock, Ice, Electric. It's also allows you to resist a lot of types like Fairy, like the pretty popular Fairy. So, Golbat, you know, it gets Roost, it gets Defog, it gets U Turn. It's very good Mon. So, yeah, I totally expected this week. Machoke is also something that I kind of expect this week because I feel like it actually does kind of well against me. Maybe even better than Heracross, to be honest, just because I do have some flying mons, so Heracross's double weakness to flying kind of hurts it. Also, something like, uh, well, I guess not, but yeah. Um, anyways, uh, Machoke prop might come, but I don't know if Katsu would want to run two fighting types. You know, I can't Scald or Toxic burn uh, Machoke just because. Uh, it has guts, so yeah, very good mon. Matang, I believe, is one of Katsu's two stealth rockers, and I'm I'm not sure if it's gonna come. Uh, for forty points, I feel like you can do a bit better, but I think it's a really nice typing for her team, just because it gives a steel type, it gives a nice psychic type, but I don't think she has. So yeah, very good mon. And then finally, Mantike. Mantike is the mascot pick, so. Well, it probably won't come. I don't think Katsu's ever thought about bringing it. But I honestly think it's not that bad this week. Just because it has Water Absorb, just kind of like its evolution. It has Scald, it has Roost, it has Air Slash, it has Ice Beam, which are not bad moves against my team. And it kind of does welcome something like Quagsire. So, yeah, maybe Mantite comes, but I don't know if Katsu has ever thought about it. The mons I am expecting are Dragapult, Mammo, Sylveon, Heracross, Golbat, Machoke. I guess those are the six. I believe I mentioned six. Maybe we'll come or like Suicune just because like if you have to bring like maybe like there's like a stigma of bringing like your uh, higher tier mons. And it's not like maybe Sinchino will probably come just because you know that chip damage is always nice but I do have everyone with one with like uh, Iron Barbs so gotta be careful. Anyways moving on to our team. Oh sorry that was my earphones but yeah. First up Latios. Latios very good this week. Uh Resist stuff like Suicune, does well against stuff like Heracross if it goes for close combat. You know, helps with Raichu, helps with Golbat, helps with Machoke. So, we're running Calm Mind, just because I feel like I can get in a bit of a Calm Mind war with Suicune and win out, just because I have Psy Shock over something like Psychic, because that hits uh, defense, not special defense. Draco Meteor's classic stab, and I'm running like a standard EV spread. I speed tie with Raichu, and I thought about, you know what, if I resist it, I don't mind it going first, but I feel like just speed tying something like that is just always kind of helpful for you. So very quick on Latias, honestly. Comfe, next member up. I think it does really well, especially with triage, and I don't know if I've ran max physical defense before. I know I ran max HP, but we're running max physical defense because I think this is going to be my physical wall for this week. Dragon Bolt has to run Steel Wing, and if it does, it means it's lacking moves against something else. Like, it can run maybe like Steel Wing, Phantom Force, Dragon Darts, Flamethrower. that do really well against people with like, heavy-duty boots. But it doesn't have, like, momentum with U-turn. It doesn't have uh, will o It doesn't have uh, Dragon Dance. So there are moves that it's going to miss out if it wants to hit Comfey. And Draining Kiss, even without Special Attack of Aspect, two it KOs. It also helps against Machoke. It actually helps against Heracross. And I believe that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, U-turn's mainly for momentum. Toxic is kind of there for Suicune. But I actually might switch it for Giga Drain. Just because I know how big of a threat Mammoth is, and Draenicus wouldn't do that much. So maybe Giga Drain is actually a better option. I might change that for Sunday's match. That's probably like the one small change I'd make. And then Defog, just because Defog. Even though this won't do crazy well against Mammoth Mine, probably. So, yeah. And actually, I could probably toss my Mammoth. So it's kind of like, depends on what I want, I guess. Next up, Needle King. So I know last, I don't know if I mentioned it last week, but like, I, I know I mentioned that I'm doing like a whole no momentum thing, and I'm bringing some momentum this week, just because, you know, Confei and you see the Heal list, which probably would run Volt Switch. It is. So, some momentum this week. So, just so Needle King can be brought safely in against stuff like maybe Sylveon, stuff like uh, Golbat. And we're running a bit of a standard set, but you're going to see one interesting move in Sucker Punch. So... Sucker Punch still helps me against Dragapult, especially if it goes with Dragon Dances, and it kind of gets out of hand. Like, yes, Triage with uh, Comfey helps stuff like Ferrothorn will be able to take one hit, and then, like, well, I don't know what else, but Sucker Punch is there just maybe as a last-ditch effort. Maybe something like a Sinchino will also take a lot of damage from Sucker Punch. So, very good mon. Uh, running max speed, max special attack. That's our running minus um, Spadeth Nature, just because... Uh, 
I want to. I don't want to run timid just because I want as much damage from Sucker Punch as possible. So yeah, very standard set. Ice Beam's waiting there for Golbat. And then this is actually kind of like a soft check to something like Heracross or Machoke. Just because I can take a knockoff, that's not the end of the world. And then something like Heracross has to run Earthquake. Which, again, that Mon can run so many moves, so it's kind of hard to fit everything. Next up, Ferrothorn. Uh, rocker for like probably four, five out of six weeks now. Uh, I probably need to draft a new, I probably want to pick up a new rocker. And I kind of have a mod in mind I actually want to switch out, but I think we'll get there when we get there. So, uh, Stealth Rock, Leech Seed's kind of standard. I don't think Katsu, she has a grass type. I don't think, looking at it, no. So Leech Seed's kind of free. Especially, unless, unless like something like Sweet Coon or Dragon Ball go for a substitute. That's when it kind of gets dangerous. But yeah. We're running mainly special defense, just because I feel like this is going to be a nice special defense wall. It does really well against uh, non-Fire Blast, or I guess Dragon Ball that doesn't go for Fire Blast, you know, Shadow Ball, uh, Draco Meteor and stuff. So there's that. Uh, Suicune will t do less damage to me. Sylveon, unless it has Mystical Fire, will do less damage to me. So, And also Raichu. I think Raichu is a big one that this one kind of uh, blocks. It has to go for Focus Blast, and that's Focus Blast. I think probably the most interesting part of the set is Bullet Seed. So Bullet Seed... Break Suicune's sub. That's mainly the main, I guess, rationale behind it. Just because if I run Power Whip, which is usually my only way to hit it, I believe I can easily get pressure stalled out. Just because Suicune with pressure, I only have four Power Whips. But with Bullet Seed, I actually have 24, because I think it's 48 PP. Yeah. So I have way more chances to break subs, and it kind of, you know, kind of uh, spirals out of control in that way. I don't know if I can run Body Press, but I don't want to run Body Press just because stuff like Dragapult's running around, Sylveon's running around, and uh, Heracross is running around. So, even though Heracross would probably do, probably resist Bullet Seed better than Body Press, I still think Bullet Seed's kind of a cool tech for this week. Oh, and then one final thing, uh, 32 Defense EVs allows me to survive plus 2 Phantom Force. I believe that's the calc. So that's just a small calc I did. Clang Clang, first time, might be the last time as well, just because I, I was looking at the team matchup, and I'm like, you know what, Clang Clang might actually do really well, so I thought about bringing it this week, like, one time, we'll see. Uh, we're running Aquaberry just for Dragapult and Sylveon, just because they have Fire-type coverage, and that's probably the only way they'll try and hit me. So, there's that, Clear Body, and then Gear Grind, Wild Charge, Shift, your Volt Switch. Uh, I don't think many people know that uh, Clang Clang gets Volt Switch, because it doesn't really switch in and out, but it does get it and i'm running gear uh, shift gear the set which is probably what you usually see the speed i think allows me to outspeed max speed suicune and heracross because i think they brought that 85 base speed and clink is actually pretty fast for its uh i guess appearance it has a nine base speed and even still with this speed tier i believe at plus two because shift gear is a plus one attack plus two speed boost i outspeed normal dragapults could katsu run scarf dragapult i think that's a really cool idea just because Usually run stuff or usually EV stuff, you run Choice Scarves and stuff to outspeed something like Dragapult. So if you run Choice Scarf Dragapult, it's kind of like, I'm going to outthink you in that sense. But who knows? Uh, yeah, Gear Grind, Wild Charge, standard Kling Kling scent. Probably the only time it's going to come this season, but we'll see. So this is the Mon that I had second thoughts about just because it wasn't more so that i didn't like healers on the team is actually like hmm i'm not running quagsire this week and i was thinking hmm, maybe i need quagsire because against it um katsu her physical mons her physical wall breakers in the set comfy does better against heracross but quagsire does better against mamoswine so i thought about running both in a sense and then dropping healers because i kind of wanted to run needle king because i think that's the other mon where the clang clang i wanted to run I thought Healers would be the drop, but I decided, you know what, I think Confei will get the job done, especially if I put something like Giga Drain on it, uh, and then we'll put on uh, Healisk just because I thought it'd be a cool tech. Scarf Healisk with Dark Pulse with Outspeed Dragapult and do mainly around like 60 to 75% damage. So if I could dent that thing really hard, that'd be great. Vulture's Thunderbolt, kind of easy to stabs. And then Grass Nuts also for Mamoswine, just because uh, I believe I want to KO it unless it's running Sash. So, yeah. Uh, no Hyper Voice, just because, uh, Dragapult. <laughs> that's, like, the only reason, really. And then, yeah, so that's the team, kind of. Also, Modest, just because I can afford to run Modest with, uh, a Scarf, and I could run less speed EVs, but it's, like, I don't really know where I'd put it, so I just kind of left it like that. 
I do have to be careful of one thing though, and that's Raichu, because Raichu has lightning rod, so I kind of have to use Dark Pulse, or I kind of have to just manually switch out. So yeah, that's the team. Monza didn't bring, I'll mention Quag, just because I talked about it when talking about Helios. I was going to run something like Scald Haze, Recover, just because even with Unaware, I want to run something like Haze just in case, you know, stuff gets out of control, and Haze has a lot of PP just in case I get in like a bit of pressure stall, stall war with uh, Suicune. But I decided to run Helios instead this week. Ninja is a bit too weak for this week. <laughs> um, Ice Shard, has Ice Shard, you know, Dragon Pulse. I, I don't think Dragon Pulse is faster, but I can't really do much to it. And then stuff like uh, Sylveon's running around with Mystical Fire, Raichu's running around, and Sinchino has Rock Blast, so not the best week. Altaria, Altaria, just not really good week either. Mamoswine, Sylveon, Dragon Pulse. Yep. Yeah. Frostlass, Dragon Pulse, Mamoswine. <laughs> You know, it's like the same offenders over and over. Yes, I'll do better against something like Heracross and Machoke, but both can run knock off, and that's not that great for me. And I can't really do much to it because I can't try to will a wisp it just because they both have guts. So it's kind of like, ugh, that's not the greatest. I can run spikes maybe, but I thought about running spikes for Earthhorn, but it probably wasn't the best idea this week. And I finally Pangoro. Pangoro, I could maybe run with like max speed, hoping that Sylveon's not max speed because I'm naturally slower and I can run something like Gunshot or like Iron Head to kind of like beat it. But I don't think. It's the best option this week, just because something like Heracross and Machoke also do uh, pretty well against it. So the bottom three mods didn't come, Quagsire is not coming for the first time, and then Ninjas is not coming. And that's, you know, that's Team Builder. So probably the only switch I might make is putting Giga Drain, because I'm liking the idea of that more. But I might have to do some calcs, just kind of see how much damage it do to a Mana Swine. But yeah, uh, I will see you all on Sunday for the match. Welcome to the live battle. I have my earphones in. I should not have these in, but yeah. Uh, so it's Sunday evening, and we're facing Katsu. So we'll challenge, and then Dex draft week six. Let's just make sure. I didn't make any two. I put synthesis on Confe. I said I was gonna put Giga Drain, but honestly, it doesn't do that much. So realistically, my only option, hopefully, is going new turn and then. Switching into Heal Lisk and then Grass Nodding. That's kind of my only play with Mammo. But yeah, uh, Giga Drain didn't do too much for me to like it. I'd probably have to run Natural Cure, and I kind of need the Triage for Draining Kiss, just because I want to heal off what kind of damage he, uh, the Mammo's going to do to me, but Triage makes me go first, so I kind of need... It's kind of a trade-off I have to make. Not the end of the world, I still have out to, what's it called, to Mamoswine, but yeah, uh, Sunday evening, this was a bit later than I wanted to play, and I've been like, I don't know, I feel constipated or something, but just waiting on Katsu right now, but yeah, uh, so, I think after this match, I'm probably making a trade, which we'll see in next week's video, and I think we're playing Mango Met and the Candle City Copper Rajas, so I'll probably say, I'll probably mention that again at the end, but I'm just killing time here as I don't have, uh, she's not accepting the challenge, I don't know what else to do, I can cut this, but I'd rather talk. Well, let's check the standings. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll even bring this over. Nice improv, huh? So right now, this is these are the standings. Right now, it's five zero. You see some five zero six zero. Right now, we are here. We're seventh, and Katsu, I believe, is on a two game winning streak right now. So if she wins, if she beats us, which is you know, I think this is a very even match. She goes three and three. We also go three and three. She probably has. She would probably be just above her based on differential. Unless she wins 6-0. I think that's the only way she kind of leapfrogs me. But fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Um, and yeah, I think that's it really. I'm trying to see what else really uh, we need to work on. But that's it. 4-2 would be perfect. And I'd really hope for 6-7-3 and three at least for this season. I don't know really though. we got to see. Like we see some teams. You know, it's a very equal split of the team so still doesn't accept it i might have to cut the video and i really hope i don't have to so you know what we'll leave, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like this we'll we'll cut and then we will 
I'll bring it back when once she uh, accepts the challenge. Okay, we're here. Uh, Katsu's team wasn't. I guess she was in the wrong format, so she did not have her team load up. So that's just kind of a small thing we had. But yeah, um, let me just type stuff. Have fun. So let's see. Sylveon, something didn't come that I wasn't expecting. Machoke didn't come. Golbat didn't come. Golbat not coming is really helpful for me, to be honest. Other stuff I'm okay with. Like, Sinchino I'm okay with. Maybe protective pads the worst thing. Yeah. Hmm. You know, honestly, I believe I should have put Magnet Rise on this. That's probably something I should have put. But we will lead Confei. I think that's always our lead. Just in case it's Mammo, because Mammo is okay. This is fine. Cause I I don't two it KO. I think. But getting damage on this is really nice. <laughs> and scouting the set. Just because Shadow Ball is two about fifty. So yeah, Dranicus is fine. We'll see. Twenty eight. Wow, that is that EV. That's EV. That's good to note. Um, let me clear up some stuff. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. So we'll leave that. Sylvia comes in, not the end of the world. I'm trying to figure, remember what my initial switch in is to this. I would love to go into this and kind of try a sweep right away. Because what does this go for? Toxic, maybe? Hmm. If you don't hear the noise in the background, if you do, sorry, but let me just check. Nido King against max HP. So it was about 70. So, hmm. We'll switch in Nido King. I think that's fine. <laughs> nice crit. Switch in Nido King. I think this goes for a toxic hyper voice. That's fine. Wow, that's strong though. That's offensive, which is kind of scary. Is that specs? That's not specs. That's literally just maybe it's lefties. Yeah, Psy Shock will kill me if it has Psy Shock. But I think I go for the Sludge Wave. This being AV kind of hurts. Because then I would love to have this, but I think getting damage on this is fine. Let me run something. Because let me see how I do against Heracross with, let's say, Scarf against Kling Kling. Kling Kling plus one. I don't kill. That's not fun for me. Okay. I'll slow it. I'll get damage on this. That's perfect for me. So that's good to know. That lets me know this doesn't have... Sylveon doesn't have a uh, Psy Shock. I think my play is always Pharaoh. Yeah, if this goes for Calm Minds, this is fine. Ice Beam. That's okay. I think he predicted... Sorry, he, not, she, not he. She predicted the... What's it called? The... Um, Latios. Or I guess Ice Beam was kind of best all best all around choice. But nice to know this has Ice Beam as well. That's good information to have. I'm writing this down. I don't know why. I'm I have like never written things down. No Psy Shock on or Psychic. I think it learns both. Sylveon Suicune has Ice Beam. Also, I didn't change the Avatar. I think that's something I didn't mention. Uh let's go for I kinda wanna go for Leak Seed, but this goes for this probably isn't hmm. Leech Seed seems fine. I would kind of like Rocks, though, as well. So it's one or the other. What does he bring in? Heracross? Let's go for Leech. Yeah. Heracross comes in. We'll go for Leech. Just because... Here, here's a bit of a... I don't know if this is metagame trickery or just me being a bit paranoid, but... Because Katsu... Because she didn't lead with Mammo... I'm also kind of inclined to believe this isn't rocks, which means she has no rocker. But we go Confei anyways. 
what did it go for? Close combat, 26. Do we see, like, flame orb? Actually, no, we would have seen flame orb. Scarf? That might be scarf damage. Uh, and then, get okay, first. Yeah, that's leaning scarf. That's good to know. So then I can U-turn out pretty safely here. Yeah. Start. Hmm. I'd love to go Helisk, but that kind that mammal still scares me. So I'm gonna go this, set up rocks, and then we'll go from there. If this has sub a bit scary, otherwise it's okay. Hmm. Ice beam on this. This kind of makes it interesting. Just cause Yeah, okay, calm mine. That's fine. Because I do have ways to semi beat this. If this is a scald calm mind, would it be sub? It might be sub. That's risky though. I'm gonna leech. Yeah. Then I bullet seed. Because what's this good for? Maybe Sinchino and that's it. Uh. Yeah, this goes for it. Well, that's a lot of damage for <laughs> three bullets. Let's say Vin Kuhn. Let's say max HP. That seems likely. Yeah, that seems about it right. What's what's so bad about bullet seeding again? Nothing. So we do it. Yeah, he just goes for ice beam. Only forty. That's just nice. <laughs> Actually, maybe Gyro would have been better, but I think Gyro might- Gyro doesn't kill, but I get HP back. It's kind of a small thing. Can't reveal! Okay, yeah, Heracross comes out. This is always comfy again, because we saw how much that close combat does. If he goes for Poison Jab, good play, but I have an inclination as a Scarf. So, if he goes for Poison Jab- Oh, sorry, not he, she, sorry. Sorry, Katsu, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, so she goes for close combat. If she went for Poison Jab, I sack this, and then I go into Clink Clang and shift gear up. Because I have inclination to believe this Heracross Scarf. I U-turn. Yep, Sylveon comes in. I kind of want to... <sighs> this Sylveon seems max special attack. Or well, not max, but like... Might not be modest, but yeah, because how much damage did that Hyper Voice do at first? 41.3. Plus Nature, Modest, 252, Pixelate Hyper Voice, that's 40 to 47.5. I'm going to write that down. So maybe Max Attack. Because then I kind of want to go Clink Clang. Because nothing resists Steel. Your grind is 97.8. And actually, we could set up. Hmm. We'll go King Clink Clang. That's one. I probably need much more damage to kind of beat something like Dragapult. It's AV, which is I find really cool. I find that that's nice tech. But since I'm... Hmm, plus 172. This dies, this dies. Heracross should die after plus 1. Yeah. Plus 1 gear grind should KO. Or it could die now. So I'm, literally, uh, I'm just gonna go for gear grind. There's no point in going for anything else, I think. 25, 26, yep. The Clinton actually do, doing work. Okay. If this is Fire Blast, I would love to stay in. Would this be max HP? Choice specs or something. 252. 
plus one would kill. What does he go for? Sorry, not he, she, sorry. Sorry, Kevin, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna shift gear. Fire Blast, Aka. Don't burn. So I should be faster than this. Unless this is Scarf. Then a gear grind. Yep, that takes it out. This might be the sweep. I don't know how much Sinchino does, but Sinchino can hit me. Yeah, especially because I broke this, uh, this thing if it has a sash. Okay, this might be game. Which is very surprising for me. I don't want to see the Sinchino kill. Do I want to go for the 6 0? Who knows? Then two C's. Sinchino. 87.2. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Did I crit? No. Oh, rocks, right. Okay, so we'll end it there. Uh, 6-0 doesn't feel right, but I did. I don't want to, like, pump myself up too much in saying I played well, but... Yeah, I think this was very nice for Kling Clang. I don't know if I want to keep this on the team, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, uh, I will... Uh, see you all next week. We'll see you... Yeah, we'll see you on... So all next week for week seven, we're now four and two.